What's going on guys? Welcome to another um, stock indicators and mathematics tutorial within Python. Uh, where we left off, we were actually calculating Bollinger Bands. Now let's actually uh, graph them up. So, if you don't have the starter file, the starter file for um, that creates basically this chart right here as an example. I do have all the code for that right here, and so we're just going to be inputting that code in there. So if you don't have the code, uh, just literally highlight it all, copy and paste it into an empty script. Uh, so come over here, and somewhere I've got an empty script. Yep, paste. And then we're going to take uh, this one, and this Bollinger Bands tutorial is going to be different than most of the indicator tutorials. So most of the indicators, right, the indicators themselves are going to go, and as we've done so far for the most part, the indicators have gone down in this like bottom section here that I've just left blank. Bollinger Bands, on the other hand, they actually go up here, okay? Uh, so this time we're going to be graphing Bollinger Bands. Uh, on top of here and I am just going to leave the simple moving averages there uh, for this video but you can take them out and if you do take them out just understand that you have to get rid of the legend because if you take them out the legend is going to try and plot stuff up that doesn't exist and it's going to get very angry with you so uh, just a forewarning um, so anyway move this over now uh, so to put them up let's see this was where did that there it is Okay, so this is the graphing thing. So basically those, the simple moving averages are graph. Well, here's the candlestick. Yeah, and they're plotted up right here. Um, just if you wanted to just make them go away, you could just give them an alpha of zero, but it would still be there um, in the uh, uh, legend. Anyway, uh, so what we want to do is this was the original here. And what we want to do is we already have moving average in there. We don't have standard deviation defined, and we don't have Bollinger Bands defined. So what we want to do is go ahead and just copy all of this. We'll even go all the way down to this. Copy that and go into here. And actually what I'm going to go ahead and do is make the font smaller so we can see this operation better. Uh, so under graph data, where we define AX1 is here. So I'm just going to... Um, I guess I'll make some space under here. So we have plenty of space. So right underneath that candlestick AX1, uh, just tab over a little bit, hit paste. And we're going to probably need to indent this stuff twice, I think is usually what we have to do. So yeah, so two indents, and you should be all set. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually chart this stuff up. We did call it with DTBBBMB. Uh, let me just fit this up, it's bothering me. So now all we have to do really uh, to plot it is call it out. And I'm going to encase it in a try and accept loop just in case. Try accept exception. E print string E. And in fact, let me zoom us back in. Um, okay. So now all we want to do is AX1 because that's the axis we want to plot on. What do we want to plot? Well, we want to plot D, T, B, and then we can choose any color. Uh, so you can just copy this color, or you can pick another color if you want. But the one that I used was C, 1, F, 9, F, uh, 7. And then we're going to give it a slight alpha equals uh, 0.7. Now I'm going to go ahead and just copy this and do a Actually, let's go ahead and add in. Uh, the other thing we want to do is minus SP for starting point. If uh, if you want to know more about that, you'll have to watch the uh, tutorial video or series for actual charting stocks in uh, Python. Uh, so now, paste, paste. And now that we've got all that covered, so we've got TB, we want to do uh, BB. Oops, make sure we uh, do that. TB, BB, and then we'll plot the middle uh, line there. And that should be it. So now we should be able to run this. Hopefully no errors. We'll find out very soon. And um, yeah. So, so now we pick the stock that we want to plot. We'll do eBay. And what you should get, hopefully, is uh, this. Now obviously it looks pretty messy because we have these other uh, moving averages here. Um, that's bothering me enough that I think I'll show you guys how to get rid of them real quick. <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh, anyway, so we're, we're confident it worked. Now let me just show you how to get rid of those simple moving averages if you want to. Otherwise, the video is over and you can go do something else if you want. Um, so the first thing we really want to do is we want to silence the plotting of those simple moving errors. I guess it was below this. Uh, so they're being plotted here and here. Now the other thing we have is the legend, and the legend is going to ask for this stuff. So we need to silence the legend. So I'm just going to do a find for legend. And this is this entire text here is for the legend, so we're going to comment it out. And I think that would be enough uh, to get that to leave us alone now. So let's try it. Hopefully we don't get any errors. Eebay. Yeah. Okay, so we got rid of all that junk. And so now you can just see the graph itself. Obviously without anything down here. But you could just, if you want, leave the Bollinger Bands on there as we go through other ones. But there will be other indicators that are, will be like on the chart itself, on the prices. Anyway, so that's going to conclude the Bollinger Band tutorial series. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support and your subscriptions. And until next time.